So I just finished installing Android 14 and One UI 6.0 on the Galaxy S22 Ultra. And what you're seeing right now is the Easter egg. I guess that's what you call this. That comes up when you keep tapping on the version, Android version, and under system settings. So let me just show you real quick how to get there. First, you go to your settings. Go to about phone, go to software information, then tap Android version several times. It will bring that up. And it took me a while to figure out how to bring this mini game up. But you just basically have to keep holding on Android 14. And it seems to be like a, what do you call this? Momentum based game wherein you swipe a certain direction and it'll just keep going faster and faster perhaps it i'm thinking that it's, si it's supposed to simulate the galaxy i guess or the universe as the theme for android 14 appear to be related to space now let's head over to the tips section and this is where we get like a quick guide or handy guide to what's new in One UI 6.0 but if you ever seen the list from official list from Samsung it's a very long list and by the way th this update is going to be rolling out to all Galaxy S22 devices as well as the entire Galaxy S22 series so let's check out the main features that Samsung would like to highlight one is the ability to change resolution when taking a photo let's just quickly demonstrate that so let's say you have you're in your camera now you have this new button that allows you to quickly change the resolution so let's head over to the second feature which is one tap editing in gallery so this is one of the photos that I took earlier and when you swipe up, it now brings up slightly more information about that photo, such as where you took it, and you can also edit it and apply some effects. Next is added security with auto blocker. So it seems that the first two features have to do with the camera. And the third feature has to do with security, which is really cool. Next is app security checks which scans the app after installing or when installing so it auto scans apps daily as well so the fourth feature also has to do with photography in a way but it ha has more to do with editing so you can now move re-edit and remove drawings or decorations that you add to pictures so there is an animation here we're not going to do that next has to do with creating videos so a lot of the new features ha apparently have to do with the cameras now you can create movie magic in studio you can combine pictures videos decorations and more into fun projects so it's like a inline or a stock video editor that comes with a new i6 next smart switch transfers your watch to so it lets you transfer your data okay from your samsung galaxy watch so no need to reset your watch when smart switch is done so next copy and paste from one device to another you have like a shared clipboard where you can copy text images videos between different devices so it only works with devices signed into the same Samsung account. So you're going to have to download the PC app. And if you're on your Samsung tablet, you have to make sure that it's signed, it's signed on to the same account. Now, the other cool feature is de more detailed weather insights. So was this not there in One UI 5? I don't know. I never used it. Is this something? Was it something that you used? Tell us in the comments. Next, you can drag and drop with two hands on the home screen. So this is an interesting new feature because 
in the past, if you have to, like, say, move icons around, you have to long press, move it to the edge, and then it will change the tab. Now, according to Samsung, when we, we do this, we can just swipe, okay, using our other finger. Moving on, move content in an app with two hands. We're not going to spend too much time of that. Let's move on to the next. Copy and paste from one app to another with two hands. So I just opened the image or the gallery app. Say messages. Say I want to send that photo to someone. The old way to do it would be to press share and then go to your app like that that would be the old way to do it next so we're done with the main features with one ui6 and it seems that they samsung has also made updates that are specific to the flip what do you think about the New features so far. What do you think of the refreshed look of One UI 6? Before we end, I was hoping to find more features that would enhance the gaming experience. So if you're familiar with One UI, it has this thing called Game Booster. And it seems to be more or less the same. I'm kind of hoping that they will enhance this feature in the future do you have any questions about the galaxy s23 ultra or about the about one ui or android 14 in general just drop them in the comments and i'll be seeing you guys in the next video